What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a look at the One Piece TCG at Anime Expo. You see, the official Twitter account for the One Piece TCG in English has gone and tweeted out a bunch of very cool stuff. Some pictures from the Anime Expo. And if I may suggest, I think I've spotted some stuff in there that some other people may have missed. Now, somebody in this image, for instance, t tells us nothing. Like, it's lovely, don't get me wrong. We've got three of the four wanted, no, sorry, all four of the wanted posters, the special arts, as they're called, the special rares from OPO3. We've got the alternate arts of the secret rares, Soja King and Charlotte Katakuri. We've got the alternate art of Fire Fist. Is that the alternate art? Yes, it is. It's the alternate art of Fire Fist. And then we've got the alternate art leaders, Borgus D8 and Charlotte Katakuri. And look, th these are cool. These are very cool cards. But OPO3 is literally out. We can buy these cards. <laughs> so it's not that I don't appreciate seeing them. It's that it shows us nothing. Then we get to stuff like this. Oh, look. It's the Devil Fruit Collection Volume 1 Gum Gum Fruit. I almost, I came so close to starting to scour the internet, trying to figure out which Devil Fruit that was, and then I realised, before I started searching, I want that on the record, before I started searching, I realised it literally says on the top, Gum Gum Fruit, which, let's face it, was always going to be the most likely one of them. This is, of course, the packaging for the Devil Fruits Collection Volume 1, which is due for release in November, and it features a Don card in one of two new designs, and sleeves in one of two new designs, as well as, you know, having the Devil Fruit casing itself. Oh, and it does come with free booster packs, but that, that's really not why you're buying these. Now, in terms of sleeves, I'm not seeing anything in these images which show us the sleeves. Although, oh wait, yes I am. I'm lying to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm lying to you. We can see one of the types of sleeves in this image, which is showing us the devil fruits. It's the same. It's the same kind of devil fruit. It's a gum gum fruit. Same one we see from the packaging here. And this is kind of cool. But the Dawn cards is what's interesting me. Because I told you very clearly, and let's be clear, I had good reason to think this, I told you very clearly that we had two unreleased Don that had been released in Japan, the Luffy Don and the Yamato Don. They'd both been released in Japan. They had been magazine promos, and we don't really have any precedent for how we would get magazine promo Don over here. So when we had this product, which was revealed, that had one of two unrevealed, unreleased Don, and we had these two promo Don from Psycho Jump over in Japan. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very sensible prediction. Although, as I've said many times, good predictions can be wrong and bad predictions can be right. I thought it was sensible that these would be the two Don, the Yamato Don and the Luffy Don. Turns out they're not. Or at least one of them isn't. Because we've seen this alternate Luffy Don in this picture... And yeah, it, it's very clearly, it's very clearly different. We can see a different angle of it here, but it's also very small in this second angle. It doesn't really show us any more of the card. So we can see here, and again, if you've read the manga, this, or I'm assuming seen the anime, this will look very, very familiar to you. It's Luffy with a knife. <laughs> but this is a very cool Don card. Now, I could be wrong, and as always, and I mean this sincerely, if I am wrong about this, do let me know in the comment section. I don't believe this Dawn has been released in Japan. Although, let's be clear, it will be, okay? The, all these, anything we get is going to end up in Japan sooner or later. So we've seen one of the two Dawn and one of the two sets of sleeves. I don't know what the other set of sleeves are. I don't know what the other Dawn is. My inkling now, of course, is that this Dawn is new. Like, the second Don is a new one we haven't seen. Because if we're not getting one of... You know, if we're not getting both of the magazine promo Don, and we know now that we aren't, why would we get either of them? If we're getting one new Don, I would imagine we're getting two new Don here. So, I don't know exactly what's going on here. But I do find this very, very interesting indeed. This one makes me pretty gosh darn happy. Now, I will say... We've also got the double pack set one. 
Now, we've only got a look at the box for this. We don't actually have a look at anything else here. I Now, here's where it gets awkward, right? In this image, we've got the promo Don, which is between the sleeves and the packaging for the Devil Fruit collection. I'm, I'm assuming it's from there. Because the double pack set volume one, due for release in September, features two booster packs of OP04, and you can see the OP04 artwork on the front there. And it also features one Don card from two different types. And this could be the Psycho Drop Don I showed you a minute ago, or it could be the new Don from the Devil Fruits collection, or it could be something else entirely. But please bear in mind, we do still need to get the Psycho Jump done at some point. So although I can't tell you for absolute certain one way or the other, I still think it's pretty likely that we will be getting this. That the Psycho Jump Don are coming, and this seems like the most sensible product to put them in. So it could still be that they are coming, but instead of coming in both the Devil Fruits collection and the double pack, they're just coming in the double pack. This is one to, um, well, to hold your horses on for a moment. Now, here is one that's really caught my eye, and we don't have a great look at it. We can see it from far away in this picture, or we can see it blurry in this picture. But we've got what is very clearly the Gift Collection 2023. Now, this is due for release in October, and features five booster packs, a card case, and one of four promos. Now we can see Gear 4 Luffy there. In the packaging, I'm assuming this is the card case. The reason I'm assuming it's the card case is because we can see a bunch of that and I can't see any text or numbers on it, which would denote it as a card. Ergo, I'm assuming this is the card case. So what does that leave us as the promos? And this is where it gets really fun. Because if you're as obsessive about the One Piece TCG as I am, and I think I've proven on this channel I am fully obsessive about this game, you are going to notice that that image of Luffy riding the pig? Or something similar? We've seen this before. Over in Japan, they've had what's referred to as TV promos. TV lottery promos. And this is very clearly one of those four promos. And it's wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely wonderful. So that image is from a Luffy. And it is actually an alternate art of the promo Luffy. By which I mean promo 001, the very first promo. The one you got in the promo pack. But it was also made available in a bunch of other places. It was given out at the Super pre-release, and it was a winner's card at the Super pre-release, and we've, we've seen it again as well. It's a card which has been printed a few times. This is blatantly the best print of it, and as a side note, now I know what the promos are. These were, these were TV lottery prizes in Japan. These were the A prize, which, come on, uh, the text on the screen here just says A prize uh, promotion card. So, yeah, these are cool. I want all of these cards. There. Okay, three of them are amazing. One of them is a bit rubbish, I'm going to be honest with you. You can tell which one's a bit rubbish. But this is awesome. This is, I should say, this is a Luffy whereby Don X2 and you gain Rush, which is cool. We've then got a reprint of Nami from OP01. Bearing in mind the Nami from OP01 is the one that searches out your Straw Hat characters and is a very cool card. Yes, it is the same card that had the alternate art in OP01, it's a very, very cool card, and we love it. Although this artwork, I'm putting it out there, this is better than the other two artworks. Come at me in the comment section. I've also, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I think this is from later on in the manga, but I can, being at about issue 870, I can guess what's kind of going on in this conversation, and I'm kind of loving it. We've then got the Roanoa Zoro, that is unfortunately from the starter deck. Which is sad because the starter deck Zoro is not as good as the OP01 Zoro. Sorry about that. But it's still a pretty cool card, don't get me wrong. This is the one whereby Don X1, you gain a thousand power. To put it another way, when you put one Don on there, it gains you two thousand power rather than the one thousand power you would usually gain from putting a Don on there. Um. Again, I think this artwork is way better than the artwork that we got 
in the starter deck. Although the starter deck artwork's cool, I think this is better. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, there's also Yamato from the starter deck. And it's not that I don't like the design of this card. It's that the other three, you've got these lovely alternate art straw hats and they all look very cool. And, you know, the Nami and the Luffy are clearly part of the same picture. And it's wonderful. And then the Zoro is a bit different, but it's very cool. And the Yamato is just kind of there. I'm sorry, I don't like it as much. I don't like this card as much. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it is an alternate art of the Yamato from Starter Deck 9, which means I don't have an English scan of it at the moment. But basically what it lets you do is when you're attacking, you can put the top or bottom card of your life into your hand to give this character an extra 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it, it's all right. It's a cool card. But I, I just don't like it as much as the Straw Hat cards. Sorry about that. I'm not telling you these are the promos. I can't tell you that these are the promos. What I can tell you is that the artwork on the Luffy is exactly the same as the artwork that we see on the front of the packaging there. And there are, you get one of four promos in the gift collection. And there are four promos in a set that were given out as these TV lottery prizes in Japan. So I'm not telling you it is confirmed that they are the promos, but I am telling you it is pretty gosh darn close. Although I was wrong about the Don, although to be fair, the Don I had much less reason to think. The fact that we've seen the Luffy artwork kind of tells us that the Luffy is one of the four. And the other three, come on, it makes way too much sense. Although... Does seem like there is at least one Don card we haven't seen for the Devil Fruits collection. That's kind of cool. So yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. You should be excited. But now I want to hear from you guys. Which of these products are you excited about? Which ones are you going to be picking up? Which ones make you happy? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.